Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. Today we are going through my hair care inventory and goals to use up. This is everything I started 2021 with, so there may be some empties along the way, but they were in my collection at the beginning and they've been used up since the start of 2021, so they should still be counted into my opening figures. I'm just quite late actually getting this together. But the first category that we're going to start with is pre-shampoo products. So I have got Espa Pink Hair and Scalp Mud, that is a 30ml size worth $12. The Grow Gorgeous Root Mask, which is 240ml and worth $31.20. Then from Sicily, I have got their Pre-Shampoo Clarifying Mask, 15ml size worth $7.13. And then lastly, a full size of the Olaflex number no. 0, 155ml and worth $28. This is the oldest product so I definitely want to use this one up. This is the newest and I asked for this for Christmas so I'm the most excited about this one. So I'm going to put definitely those two I would like to use before the end of the year. Um, I feel like with these two they're both sort of mud based, they're both going to do quite a similar job. Probably slightly more excited about the Espa one, I will definitely use them both up. I really like Sizzly Skincare, I've not used any of their hair care before though. I feel like this is such a kind of iconic product that I'm just really keen to sort of know what the hype is with this one. Goals to use are these three and this one I'm going to put into storage but if I make my way through these obviously I will want to use this up so this is the plan to use up. To open with I've got four products in this category worth $78.33 altogether. These are all my shampoos. I've got 17 shampoos worth $254.25. Obviously there's too many for me to go through at them all so let's just talk about what I want to use up and why. First of all I want to finish up my Davines Oil Shampoo. As you can see I've been using it so there's a lot of progress being made so it's a Re relatively sensible one to just try and finish up and get out of my collection. I do obviously, my aim this year is to use up as much as possible. I asked for the Olaplex little kit for Christmas because I'm very excited about trying them so I want to try and use that up. Quite difficult because I'd quite like to be rid of all these minis to be honest. They kick around so much but there's also something much more satisfying about using up a full size. I've actually finished the art and co already but I need to put it into my empties so that needs to go into my empties. I'd like to finish up this from Dry Bar, the Southern Belle shampoo. Again it's a little mini one. Two new minis and a full size. I don't wash my hair that often, that's the thing. I only wash my hair like once a week um, and even at the moment I'm saying that and haven't washed my hair. This is Saturday and I washed my hair last Thursday and I didn't even use shampoo when I washed it because I was dyeing it so you just rinsed it out. So I don't actually go through that many washing products. That's kind of the situation with how these build up. But I would quite like to try... No, I'm going to concentrate on the minis. So I've got matching products to these three so I will take these three out to try and use up so I'm going to store these ones away so this is the plan for using up this year this one's already used one two three four five six shampoos that I'm aiming to finish off this year it's quite a big goal for somebody who washes their hair once a week but a lot of minis and the full size has a lot used out of it already so fingers crossed I will achieve this. I have 14 conditioners worth $307.56. In terms of what I want to use this year, these are the conditioners that match, oh, can you guys see that? Uh, these are the conditioners that match the shampoos that I pulled out, so the Olaplex one, the Virtue one, the number four, the Dry Bar and the Orbe. Those are the ones that I'm going to aim to use up this year. Then alongside that, this one's empty so it needs to get moved into my empties but obviously I started the year with it and this is being cut open because there's not much left so I'm obviously going to try to finish that one. Well not try to, I am obviously going to finish that one. And then this has actually got quite a lot out of it so I feel like I'll just I'll keep this one in as well. So I'm going to store away one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven conditioners that I'm going to aim to use up this year. So fingers crossed, this is the aim. I have two scalp exfoliators worth $71. This one is completely unopened. This one has at least been opened and there's 
a little bit out of it. I don't know if I'm realistically going to finish it this year, but I will keep this one down and store this one away and try to make more of an effort to use this more often. I have one in shower treatment. This is from John Frieda. It's 9 99 and I'm going to try and use this up this year. So this is going in the shower and I'm going to try and finish it. I've had this for so long, I just forget to use it, but it needs to be finished and then this category will disappear because I will not repurchase this because it's taken me so long to use it that I evidently do not use it regularly so there is very little point in repurchasing so hopefully saying goodbye not only to this product but this entire in shower treatment category this year. I have got eight hair masks so the Way treatment mask that one is worth $4.83. I've got two of the Olaplex number threes so the full size is worth $28. The smaller size is $8.40. I've got two IGKs. Antisocial dry mask is worth $34 and the prenup is worth $32. This is really good it's actually you put it on dry hair and just go to bed which is great if you're somebody like me who doesn't wash their hair that often because the rest of these are all designed for wet hair. I've got this little one use a uh, coconut oil mask which is worth $3. The Davines Oi Hair Butter worth $24. This Christophe Robin Regenerating Hair Mask worth $14.20. Now I feel like I've set myself quite a big goal with hair conditioner this year so I don't know if I'm realistically going to use many of these up. What I'm going to keep down do you know, this will sound ridiculous, I think I'm just going to keep all of these down. I'm not going to set any goals to use them up. If I use things up, it's a bonus, but I want to try and get my conditioner stash down more than my hair mask stash. Because I feel like these are all sort of different levels and they're all for sort of different things. Like, you know, these two are more like strength building, like that's going to be a deep conditioning, deep conditioning not use this one so I don't actually really know. That's like conditioning but it doesn't weigh my hair down. That's for use on dry hair and that's more strengthening as well so I feel like they kind of all do slightly different things to different degrees. I'm just going to keep all of these down this year. And then I've got a new category that I didn't have last year which is colour products. Um, So this is things that are going to help me maintain my hair colour at home during lockdown. So at the moment I've got one root touch up which I've just said is worth $5. I couldn't even be bothered looking this up to be honest um, because I know I'm going to use it and move it out so it was around the £5 mark. And then I have got the Davines conditioner which is the copper one that has well, you can't really see. I do have my ring light on and it is daylight outside. I really... I need somebody to like teach me how to work this camera. I just can't seem to get it to brighten up at all and it's at like the highest ISO thing. That aside, uh, so these are worth $36 together. There's two products. Um, obviously, I will. my intention is I will buy these, use it and move it out kind of thing. Like this one has been used, it's empty. This though, if, if I have one of these in my stash at the end of the year, I'll be all right with. I will keep them both down obviously, well actually this is going to move into my empties. So I'll be keeping this down this year and I probably will finish this one but I will repurchase it. So if this category has like one or even at the end of the year if I've got another one of these that I'm just waiting to use as long as it doesn't start bulking up past two I'll be quite happy with this category to stay the same. So with hair washing products out the way I'm going on to blow dry products and the first step in that is my heat protectors. So I have got the Bumble and Bumble Repair Blow Dry which is worth $12.80. The Davines Your Hair Assistant Blow Dry Primer worth $35, that's a full size one. Dry Bar Hot Toddy which is great again because it's for dry hair so although it's a heat protector great if you're styling your hair midway through or like me if you just haven't actually blow dried your hair if you let it dry naturally and then style it later on. Um, this is brilliant. I am like one of the, and I realise it's totally shallow, but one of the like most annoying things about having had my trips cancelled last year because of Covid is that I've not been able to get this because you can't get dry bar in the UK yet. It's one of the few brands that's not come over and this is just one of my absolute favourite products. So I will be stocking up on this whenever I get back to the US, but 
I don't see that being any time soon, sadly. Next up is the It's a 10 leave-in conditioner, but it's also got heat protecting aspect to it, and that is I don't know, did I say that one's worth $26? This one's worth $18.99. Then the kind of most expensive one here is the Kerastase Nectar Thermique at $43. It's also my oldest one. And the Philip Kingsley Daily Damage Defense, this little 60ml size, is worth $15. So I've got six in total worth $150.79 of heat protectants. Definitely keeping this down because it does a different job to the rest of them in terms of you use it on dry hair. I'd really love to finish this, but this is one of those products, like I just find something that I can spray into my hair and use my wet brush to brush through so much easier than anything I have to like squirt into my hands and work into my hands then work into my hair then go wash my hands and whatever so that is why going forward I'm definitely gonna bear that in mind and try not to buy balms and creams and things but I would like to try and finish this one this year right I'll put those two away for definite keep this one down I think so I'll keep, I'll keep these three down so that I've got a spray in one for when I really can't be bothered. But I'm going to try and make make the point to use the Kerastase one. And then, oops, this one is for dry hair. So keeping those three down would be good to finish, like this one in particular. I would love to just finish this and get it moved out because it's the oldest product of all of these. So... Those three are staying, these three are getting put away for the year. I have got three leave-in conditioners slash detangling sprays. The problem I find with these is that the it's a 10 that has the heat protectant and it also kind of replaces these if I'm using that. I have kept that one down but I'm going to try and use the Kerastase a little more. I feel like just because this is the biggest one but I did have this down last year so there's a little bit of progress in this one whereas this one is like has been away for all of last year so this is totally untouched and new this one was down but it's a sun based product so i feel like there's a very small time of the year that i use this normally and i didn't even go on any holidays to use it maybe more than i would have otherwise right i think i will keep this one down for summer and then it's between these two whether i i'll keep this one down so i'll keep the two davines products down and i'm going to put the this is the Kristen S leave-in conditioner. I will put that one away. I don't really suspect that I'm going to finish them this year, but hopefully we'll make some progress. On to hair oils. I have four. So I have the Davines Oil Oils. This is a 50ml size worth $23. I have the Dry Bar 1000 Proof Oil. Um, this is full size, it's 100ml, worth $36. I think this is a full size as well, actually. Then I've got the Kiehl's one. This is their oil-infused leave-in concentrate, 75ml, worth $25. And then at last I have a little 15ml sort of deluxe sample size of the Moroccan Oil Treatment Oil Original. Um, this is 15ml, worth $10.20. This is new, I think this came in the Space NK gift with purchase, or maybe it was a John Lewis gift with purchase. I get two like gift with purchase things that came in with other things that I got at Christmas. So this is the newest one. I feel like the rest of them are probably all around the same age. This is the one I've kept down for most of last year, so there is like reasonable progress on it. Still got a while to go. But this one makes my hair quite greasy so I can only use it when my hair is wet or like the night before I'm washing it as a treatment which does make my hair feel lovely but it's just a little goes a long way with this one it's easy to make mistakes so I'm quite I'm wary about using this one whereas this is a drier oil and um, so if I'm using it like you know for a styling point of view just to like kind of defluff my hair this I feel like works better in dry hair so I think I'll keep those two down and continue using them and store these ones away even though I'm super keen to try this. I've never tried anything from Moroccan Oil which is so strange because it was such a sort of iconic brand and it had such a moment in the beauty blogging world for a while um, but I just kind of never got around to it so I am, I am excited to try this but yeah there's so much progress in this one I want to keep it down and I know that this one works in dry hair so keeping these two down and putting this one away and I would like to try and finish this one this year so that is my goal is to finish up this Kiehl's one and get that out of my stash which would 
reduced by $25, so that would be nice. On to serums and treatments. The problem I have with getting through this category is just that I have such fine hair that I feel like I don't want to weigh it down. And if I have washed my hair and then I've used something for heat protecting and then used like a leave-in conditioner and something for volume, I just, it starts adding up really quickly and I don't always want to be using a serum as well. But I do have a few. I have six. So I have got the Davines Spell, which is a reinforcing bodifying fluid. That one's worth $45. I've also got the Davines Minnow Serum for coloured hair. It's worth $25. Grow Gorgeous, which is actually like a scalp treatment, but I put it in with serums. Um, worth $39. Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. I think this is probably the oldest one here and that is worth $24.99. Pantene Breakage Defence Tonic worth $6.49. And then last but not least Redken Anti Snap which is worth $21. I'm going to keep this one down. So this is the Grow Gorgeous. So this is more of a scalp treatment. Um, so I'm going to keep that down as you can see have used some of it there's still plenty left but keep that one down i'm going to try and finish that up this year i'm not going to keep this one down because i want to use this when i'm using the matching shampoo and conditioner which i've decided to put away so that one's definitely not staying down i feel like these two are maybe kind of similar in that they're both for strengthening so i think i'll keep the the davines one down i'll keep the minnow one down because that's more for putting a sort of reviving into your colour so I feel like that way that's three serums that do three different jobs and I will put these ones into storage. On to blow dry balm products. Again this is a category that's just got really quite out of control and it's not a product I use a lot again because I don't want to be adding extra products into my hair when it's so fine it gets weighed down so easily but also just what I was saying about the Kerastase is that I have to put these on my hands, work it through my hair and then go wash my hands which I'm just not always down for to be totally honest but I do want to really make an effort to move through these so I have kept down the Virtue, the Olaplex and the Orbe shampoos and conditioners yeah I'm going to keep these four down because they match other products that I've kept down this year and I like using things even though I don't think products should have to match to work. It just appeals to me to use like a whole routine and be able to really like assess the thing. So I'm going to keep those four down and I'm going to put these ones away. I have got three blow dry volumizing sprays. So this is what I tend to use um, in my hair. So I've got a Bumble and Bumble Go Big Treatment. This one is worth $3.42. I have got the John Frieda Root Booster Blow Dry Lotion. This one's worth $7.29. The last one is the R & Co Dallas Volume Spray, which is worth $30. I'll keep this one down because it's near enough finished. This one was down last year. So there's 241 mils in this one. And then the John Frieda is 125 mils. So I'll keep the John Frieda down just because there's less in it. I'll try and work through it and that would ideally get me down to only having one left in this category which would be the dream so putting this one away going to try and work through these two on to mousse and this is another category that definitely suffers because I'd rather just spray in a volume spray and go rather than work mousse through my hair but I do have six so I would like to try and reduce that this year this is the oldest one and the cap has been lost it's the big sexy hair root pump um, which is worth $18.99. So I think I will try and use that one up this year. And I will also try to use up these two from Dry Bar. So the Southern Bell Root Lift, which is this one, is worth $5.72. And then the Volume Boosting Mousse is worth $7.63. On to dry shampoos and conditioners. I have got the Aveda dry shampoo which is worth $23.50. I have got the IGK first class dry shampoo which is worth $27. Another beloved dry bar product. 
um, their dry conditioner worth $23. Quite happy with this, three products worth $73.50. They all kind of do a different function, so this is kind of the lighter of the two dry shampoos, so I can use this and get another few days out my hair. This one is really, really intense, but because it is sort of so intense and so charcoal based, once I use this I can really feel it in my hair, so I tend to only use this maybe like the day before I'm going to wash my hair or like maybe two days kind of thing. I wouldn't use this kind of until like day three of the week or anything because my hair would just feel so thick with product for the rest of the week until I washed it. And then this is a dry conditioner. My hair is actually in really good condition generally so it's not so much about being a dry conditioner but just again because I don't wash my hair very often and a lot of the detangling sprays that I've got are for use on wet hair I use this almost as like a detangling spray if I've had my hair in like a beehive or something and it's not I'm not washing it I will spray this through it and it makes brushing out like a back combed style so much easier so totally happy with all three of these if I used up any of them I would repurchase them other than the dry bar one because it can't repurchase it but I definitely if I finish it this year I will definitely repurchase it whenever I do get back to America. Very happy with this category, not worried about it. Will keep all three down accessible to me this year. Texture sprays, I have four worth $101.10. Again, kind of similar to the dry shampoo, dry conditioners. These all provide different levels of texture. So I would say the Bumble and Bumble is sort of least texturizing and it's got the least hold then probably this one's probably a step up from this one in terms of texturizing and hold this one's a very very good holder i feel like this gives more texture to start with than this one does but it does drop out of my hair whereas i feel like this gives maybe slightly less texture to start with but it does hold and then this is like the the big guns but again similar to that igk dry shampoo once this is in my hair i can feel it in my hair so this is sort of second half of the week texture spray when my hair washes not too far away. I think because of that I'm just going to keep all four down and I'm not desperate to finish any of them because they're all sort of reached for in slightly different scenarios. If I finished, I feel like the ones I would repurchase are the Davines one and the IGK down and out. I feel like once I finish these two I probably won't repurchase them just because this kind of gives a better finish than either of those two. The only downside is that it does need hairspray with it to keep it but I do love the way it makes my hair look. I also love the smell of it so I'm not going to pretend that that doesn't affect me a little bit and then this is like as I said this is the the heavy duty one so once I finish these two I probably won't repurchase them but I'm perfectly happy with them and I'm going to keep all four in rotation at the moment. This is my miscellaneous category which is a sort of catch-all. We've got hair glitters here, so these are two VO5 glitters and a glitter spray a plus a Too Faced Dry Bar collaboration glitter spray. The Redken No Blow Dry Airy Styling Cream, Philip Kingsley Preen Cream, or Bay Mystify Restyling Spray, and then a hair perfume from Davines. Eight products all together are worth $106.70. Um, I'm going to keep the glitters down this year. I feel like, you know, you never quite know when the time's going to come to use them, so I will keep them down. This I would like to finish this year. It's very nearly finished. Keep my hair perfume down because it's the only sort of hair perfume that I have. This I want to keep down because it's quite good for when I don't want to blow dry my hair. Um, and then preen cream, I feel like I'll probably put that away. Yeah, I'll put that away but I will keep these down. In terms of finishing up this year, I would like to finish these products. Although to be fair, if I'm trying to finish this, I can only use this when I don't blow dry my hair. And I've got a whole load of other products I'm trying to use up that are about blow drying my hair. So... Maybe won't finish this actually, but I will definitely finish this this year. Okay, we're on to the second to last category and we are finished with the hair care inventory. So, Big Sexy Hair Hairspray worth $18.95. Davines Hairspray worth $30. GHD Curl Hold Spray worth $15. And Philip Kingsley Weatherproof Hairspray worth $30. Four products all in worth $93.95. I'm going to try and finish this one this year. This is the one that I kept down last year. This is very nearly finished. I'm going to keep down the curl spray. I've not actually used that yet. It was part of my Christmas. So give that one a go. 
And then in terms of these two, I think I'll keep the Daveness one down and I will put the Weatherproof Hairspray into storage. Definitely aiming to finish this this year and then just to continue using these two and if I finish them, great, and if I don't, it's not a big deal. And the very last category in my hair care inventory is four sashi samples worth a dollar each. So four dollars worth of sashi samples, all of which I will be hoping to use ASAP. And the opening numbers all in for my hair care inventory 2021 is that it is worth $1,947.98 and that is across 108 items. That is our opening figure, that's what we're working with and yeah, see what it is at the end. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will speak to you in my next one.